three things in mind when playing the Greeks. Greek soldiers are powerful, but expensive and slow to train. You will need many villagers and military buildings to support your armies. Next, the Greeks gain favor by sending villagers to pray at temples. The more villagers you have praying, the more favor you will earn. Finally, the Greeks call on unique heroes to fight myth units. Like other Greek soldiers, these heroes are strong, but expensive. Some even have devastating special abilities that can win a battle. When playing the Egyptians, there are three things to remember. First, the Pharaoh is one of your most important units. He can be tasked to empower different buildings in your town. Empowered buildings train military units, research improvements, and attack faster. Laborers, fishing ships, and camel caravans will drop off more resources at empowered buildings. The Pharaoh can also empower foundations, speeding their construction. In combat, your pharaoh is very strong against myth units. You only have one pharaoh, so use him well. Second, the Egyptians gain favor by building monuments. Five different monuments are available, but you can only build one of each. You will gain favor faster with each new one constructed. Each major god provides a unique bonus to your monuments, so place them wisely. Finally, most Egyptian buildings are either free or cost gold. However, they take a long time to construct. Remember that your pharaoh can empower a foundation to speed this process. There are three things to remember when playing the Norse. Instead of building stationary drop sites, 
Norse gatherers and dwarves construct mobile ox carts. Ox carts serve as drop-off points for all resources and can be moved around the map. They can also research economic improvements. Second, the Norse gain favor through battle. They simply fight to please their gods. Whenever a Norse soldier or ship is fighting enemy units, your favor will increase. Certain units, like the Hersir, a type of Norse hero, generate favor faster than others. Finally, Norse foot soldiers can construct and repair buildings. Norse gatherers and dwarves can only construct certain buildings, such as farms and houses. Use foot soldiers to construct new buildings when and where you need them. When commanding the Atlanteans, there are a few things to remember. First, their citizens are expensive and take a long time to train. However, they gather and build much more quickly than other villagers. Also, rather than using drop sites, they stockpile resources instantly. Atlanteans scout and gain favor using oracles. An oracle gradually loses vision while moving, but when standing still, its line of sight grows and it gains favor faster. Oracles must stand far away from each other, or else only one of them will earn favor. Atlanteans can promote any of their human units to heroes for a price. Promoting takes time, however, so carefully plan when you wish to do so. Heroes are generally superior to regular units, but they excel in particular at fighting myth units. Hey! Oh! 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 